I said, thank God for Gilgal. Hmm? Thank God for Gilgal. Amen. Now, now, let me lay a little foundation here because I'm a foundational preacher. And you got to understand where we are in the text. The children of Israel, they, 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 God has brought them out of wilderness. They have, they brought them out of Egypt. They are wandering around in the wilderness, getting ready to cross over Jordan. Hmm? And when they're getting ready to cross over Jordan, the enemy got so upset and so mad and afraid of them. Amen. Now God has brought them to this point, amen, a place that Joshua now is getting ready to circumcise, amen, the young men that was birthed in the wilderness. We come to this place they call the second circumcision. Why? They were circumcised twice. Amen. Brothers, don't get scared here. Amen. Somebody said one is enough. But remember now that everybody that was in Egypt got circumcised, but in the wilderness they died. But now all this wandering in the wilderness, this 40 days in the wilderness, this time of disobeying God and doing everything, somebody was having babies. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Look at somebody, they had, a lot of, they had a lot of trouble, a lot of trial. And the fun was on somebody's mind because they babies that was born in the wilderness. Now, these babies, amen, remember now all the elders died out. God promised that they would not see the land of Canaan because of disobedience. Now we have a new crop here. We have a whole new uh, a seed that's going to have been born. Now, this bunch has not been circumcised. So at this point now, God has commanded Joshua to circumcise the newborn that was born in the wilderness. Can y'all get the picture? All the older folks have died. But in the midst of going through the wilderness, amen, they birthed young ones, okay? And now... He brings with this point that they need to be circumcised too. Why circumcision? Preacher, what circumcision, amen, is a covenant agreement with God. And when you circumcise, amen, you stay in agreement with the covenant that made with God. That's the reason why the tradition was so strong to circumcise. But I want you to see the place where they were circumcised at is a place called Give gal. Mm. Now, give gal simply means a rolling away. Uh, it simply means, amen, that God is going to remove the reproach of Egypt. Look at somebody say, thank God for my give gal. Because give gal is a place that God forgave me or everything that I ever done. It's a rolling away. And what God said at give gal, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the reproach off of the people at give gal. What was the reproach? The reproach was they were slaves unto Egypt. And there was a, uh, there was a reproach of being a slave. There was a reproach, amen, of being a people that was test, that they had a hard test master. They were pressed down, all that kind of stuff. You know, when you was in sin, before you came to God, there was a reproach on your lifestyle. You, you, I mean, you might have done some things you ain't not quite proud of. You was a little promiscuous and all this kind of stuff. And you know, you, you were in some situation that you should have been in. Who in the building got a track record Baby, that ain't so good. You, you weren't saved all your life. You did a little something. I know because there's somebody did it with you and they couldn't keep it to themselves. They told somebody that I had her down there, I had them down there, and all this kind of stuff. You did tipped and you dipped and you did some stuff. There's some skeleton in your closet. But regardless of what you ever did, God gave them a give gal. Look at somebody and said, Thank God for my give gal. It's a place where God got it right. And I come to tell you baby if you haven't had now get ready because today 2010 January the 17th could be your gift gal it can be the day that God will wash away your sins and forgive you of all the things that you have done I'm preaching here a little bit look at somebody and say he almost through here now let me show you something let me show you something why give gal is so important it's so important because give gal a property is the place that God rolled away is a place, look, is a rolling away of the foreskin. You know what, what circumcision is? Come on, y'all. You know, you know what circumcision is? It rolls away the foreskin. It pulls the foreskin back. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, you can take it or leave it. Thank God that we took it, baby. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I just slipped that in there. But, but thank God for it. But even, 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 even God said, look at, look at Gilgal. It's a rolling away. It's a place that Joshua circumcised. Meaning he rolled away the skin. He 
circumcised a young man, but it's a place of rolling away the reproach. It's a place, amen, they're rolling away everything that they were connected to Egypt with. God roll it away. I come to tell you, baby, the days are significant in your life with God. You may not remember the time. You may not remember the hour, but who in the Bible remember the day that God got a hope to you, baby? That was your gift gap. I can remember a day and everything, but place, place. Now, gift gap is a place. Look at somebody said place. Place, place, just like dates are important. A lot of things we may not remember, but there's certain place, amen, that we can remember. Huh? You, you know, there's a certain place in your life that you can pinpoint right off. I may not give you the exact time. I may not give you the exact date of the month. I may be off a little bit on the year, but baby, I can identify the place. Uh, who in the building can identify the place? Uh, you may not remember the year. You may not remember the time. That's all right, but how many of you can remember the place that the Lord got a hope to you? Uh, I can remember my pay place. It was in 1988. Uh, that down on a railroad track when God got a hold to me, honey. And the Bible lets me know he forgot about my sins and washed away. Well, that's my gift gal. And I thank God for my gift gal. Because I come to tell you, gift gal is a place that God going to take away the reproach. It's a place God going to wash you and purge you. It's a place where you can start over again. It's a place of new beginning. It's a place of new opportunity. And who in the building need a new opportunity? Who in the building that need a fresh start? You just need a new beginning. Huh? You need a place and a time that God can wash your sake clean. Huh? And I come to tell you huh, that behold, today is huh, the acceptable day. Huh? The day is the day of salvation. Huh? And if you hear the voice of the Lord, huh, how much your hearts in the days of provocation, huh? but seek the Lord while he may be found called upon the name of the Lord while he is here. How far somebody said, thank God huh, for my gift girl. Now notice this, notice this, notice this, notice this, brother Lou, while we celebrating Gib Gab today. Notice this now, notice this while we celebrating Gib Gab. Look at somebody say it's gonna get happy after a while because Gib Gab property is a washing away from the old. It's breaking the connection from the old. Huh? They broke the connection from Egypt. He moved the reproach from Egypt. He did all this just then now. Huh? When they get ready to cross over the Jordan, look at somebody says it's a crossing over. Huh? You coming from one side to another. Huh? Look at somebody you coming from darkness under to light. Huh? You coming from bondage unto freedom. Huh? You crossing over, baby. Huh? You leaving all the mishap, all the troubles, huh? all the mistakes, all the letdowns you made. Huh? Look at somebody say, I'm getting away from that. Huh? Because God is for to take me over to a new. Huh? And when God take me over to the new, huh? you can't hold me to the past. Huh? You can't hold well, huh? I know you did it, baby. You got to forget it. Huh? Because in the morning, huh? I'm going to be a brand new creature. Huh? I said, when I cross over, huh? it's going to be new. Huh? And you can't hold huh? 2008 to me. You can't hold 2009. You can't hold 2005. I know in 2006 I was rough, but baby, you can't hold it. Let me show you. I'm almost through here. I want to show you something. Now get this, get, get, get this, get this, cuz. You got to understand, Gib Gal is the place, Sister Green, that no more mountain falls from heaven. Mountain a uh, mama was the amen the bread that fallen from heaven. Mama was the bread that sustained them. Amen. It fed them, you know, and they were conditioned to go out by night and get the mountain for their household. Now, notice now, on this side of the Jordan, they at mountain. Mm -hmm. But now they're getting ready to cross over. Huh? And when they cross over to the Jordan, he, he forgets them of all connection, amen, to the past. Huh? Well, they at manna back then. Huh? But when God forgave them and rolled over, amen, they reproach, huh? they no longer at manna, they had to live on the land of Canaan. Huh? Oh, the Bible, did not the Bible teach you and tell you that the place you're going to is better than the place you're coming from? Huh? You had this when you were back there, huh? but he leading us to a wealthy place. Huh? Look at somebody, I don't care how good it was, huh? and I know you had fun in the world, huh? but the place we're going to is better than where we come from. Huh? Look at somebody, huh? I'm going to a better place, baby. Huh? I'm going to a better place, huh? and I'm breaking the connection of the 
old. Huh? Look at somebody say, you got to forget those things which are behind you huh? and press towards the mark huh, of the high calling in God. Huh? I don't care how it was huh? or how bad you were. Huh? God can wash away huh? our sins. Huh? God can purge us. Huh? God can make us whole. Huh? The Bible says, any man being God, huh? he's a new creature. Huh? Old things are passed away huh? and behold, all things are new. Huh?